Hey, what is up guys? Teacher Ben here, coming to you live with my third installment in the ongoing series of analyzing Bickhole, Bisaya, and Tagalog. All right, so we do have uh, an order here. Uh, Bickhole will be first, Bisaya will be second, and Tagalog will be third. All right, so we are going from smaller language to medium language to larger language here. All right, so we did in the first two installments cover one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have eight, nine, and 10 left to cover, to study tonight, all right? So in Bickle, <coughs> we have wallow, and in Bisaya, surprise, wallow. Now we have a minor, a minor change. Uh, when we reach Tagalog, it is going to be wallow, all right, so the O gets changed to a U, <coughs> and that is not enough for me to say uh, Tagalog is different from Bisaya or Bikul. So similarities, all. Life is easy. Just remember to change that O to a U for Tagalog. All right, now we have number nine. Number nine in Bikul is Sham. Sham, all right? Now we move on to Bisaya. We do have Siam, Siam. So insert an I in between the S and the Y. We got Siam. And finally, we have reached Bicol, the mother language of the Philippines. Did I just say Bicol? Tagalog, Tagalog, the mother language of the Philippines. And that one is Siam, Siam. All right, so uh, similarities all. Thumbs up. And life is relatively easy. God hasn't given us such a hard task in this human existence. Now let's look at 10. We do have something to analyze here. What is going on? All right, we do have Bicol. Bicol is Sampulo. It's a wonderful sounding word. I like the complexity, Sampulo. And coming to the next language, we have Bisaya. Visaya is going to be Napulo. So uh, the Pulo is similar, and we have <coughs> we have <coughs> changed the S to an N, and there is no M after the A. But basically, it's close enough to get the thumbs up. That one is similar. All right, now let's look at uh, Tagalog. Tagalog is going to be Sampu. So what we have done here is uh, between Bicol and Tagalog, uh, Bicol actually has an L-O at the end. So I do think Tagalog is similar to Bicol. Now, let's actually look here uh, at Bisaya to, Bisaya to Tagalog. We have Napulo to Sampu. All right, so... I don't think that is similar, uh, but as I said in the beginning, we are analyzing this uh, relative to Bickle. Let me highlight that, relative to Bickle. So <coughs> similarities, all, all of them are similar relative to Bickle. All right, so uh, I do wanna show you uh, some analysis of the findings. Um, basically from uh, okay, so one, two, and three, uh, didn't have, uh, similarities across the board. Uh, one had nothing, two had a similarity, uh, with Bisaya, and three was also found a similarity with Bisaya. Now, starting at four, we find that all three languages are exactly the same. So we do have Similarities all, similarities all, similarities all, similarities all, similarities all, similarities all, and similarities all. All right, so uh, there you have it. That is my third installment in the ongoing series of um, analysis, analyzing Bickle, Bisaya, and Tagalog. All right, so stay tuned for more short lessons in the future. Much longer lessons will be coming soon. To stay up to date on these and get notified uh, when the longer videos, when the longer lessons 
are uh, put out. Uh, do like and smash me a subscribe. I do look forward to seeing you in my next lesson as my loyal subscriber. All right, paalam, bye-bye.